Hey guys, welcome back to DK Knives. We're checking out the Lan Apple by Raylight, which is another new flashlight that we just uh, picked up. Um, I've got it here to compare to the uh, Rook that we just looked at. The Rook is a little bit uh, wider and shorter. And the difference in between the two is that the Rook has a triple emitter and that the um, Lan Apple only has a single. Um, like I say, this guy is a little bit longer. He's also a little skinnier which I kind of like. It depends on your preference for what you like with the flashlight, but the uh, skinnier makes it a little easier to carry on your person. Uh, we have them in uh, two varieties, um, stone wash and bead blast. Here is the stone wash and here is the bead blast um, with the um, frag pattern, uh, kind of like grippy textured um, shafts, I guess you could say. And then on the other ones, they have smooth barrels, so the barrels on these guys are uh, smooth. Um, still grippy though, because you've got your gripping down down here, so not really a problem, just depends on if you want texturing or not. Uh, these guys uh, do feature a 14500 rechargeable cell. Um, they do not have a port on the battery though, since it's so small, so you will have to charge that with a regular battery charger. I uh, got to look down in there with a nice spring to drop that guy into. There's your driver. Do a quick uh, reverse and then screw this guy down so we don't cross thread him. Um, like I say, with the uh, it's the same as with the uh, Rook all metal button. Uh, full press will turn that on. It starts off in moonlight. You can half press to cycle through. Oops. There's the brightest setting. And uh, really, really nice um, for the size. Uh, this still manages to be, honestly, I think just about as bright as the Rook. And the other neat feature is, is that when you turn that off, you saw it just for maybe a split second there because it is light, but the O-ring that is seals the uh, head there does glow um, after you turn it on and you use it. Uh, the pocket clip, real nice milled titanium pocket clip. Uh, the um, holes here on the back, and the, uh, on the button are for tritium inserts. If you uh, are into tritium vials, adds an extra little bit of a you know, tactical uh, look to it. Um, we also have it in a Timascus. This is our special edition one, still sealed up in the package. Uh, Timascus has a mesmerizing effect. Uh, it is at a higher price, but if you really like this uh, small compact flashlight and you want it a little fancier, uh, the Timascus is for you. It's definitely a really neat pattern. Uh, let's see, anything else we're missing here? Pocket clip, we've compared it to the Rook. Like I say, it is a little bit uh, a little bit taller, a little bit skinnier. But uh, yeah, real nice uh, quality flashlight. Oh, and it is um, customizable too. Uh, you can program it um, on their website or uh, via YouTube video. Um, so you can change whether you want moonlight on or off. You can toggle the memory function, which is something I'm a big fan of. I, I like having memory on my flashlight. Um, and then you can also change the grouping. So uh, they have like four different groups that you can switch between um, that have different percentages of light level. So uh, all of that we will uh, link below. So if you pick one of these guys up, you can uh, reference the video on how to program it. But uh, really nice flashlights. And um, we've got uh, one more model from Raylight that we'll be taking a look at here shortly. Thank you guys.